subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. A giant underwater sea scorpion that lived in the ocean some 400 million years ago to how scientists are turning plastics into fertilizers for plants. These are some of the stories that we talk about on this edition of Scientifics. I am Mohana Basu and every week on The Prince Scientifics, I take you through some of the top science stories of the week from across the globe. This week, scientists have revealed new insights into why great white sharks bite humans. By using a simulated shark vision model on swimming patterns of humans, seals and sea lions, researchers from Macquarie University showed that humans on surfboards look like baby seals for sharks. According to the team, surfers are the highest risk group for fatal shark bites, especially by juvenile white sharks. Great white sharks are also called white sharks and together with bull and tiger sharks, they account for by far the most bites on humans. The team has been working for years to understand how sharks see by exploring the neuroscience of white sharks' visual systems. The team compared underwater video of rectangular floats, seals and sea lions swimming and human swimming with different strokes and humans paddling on various sized surfboards in a large aquarium with both stationary and travelling cameras pointed towards the water surface. Smaller surfboards were harder to distinguish from the marine mammals, which is why they are targeted by the white sharks. Most sharks are likely completely colorblind, and the main visual cue for white sharks, the silhouette shapes, so colors on boards and wetsuits are unlikely to change the shark's impression of floating humans. However, the researchers are now exploring other ways to change the way that sharks perceive different silhouettes, including the judicious use of LED lights. Also this week, scientists have confirmed a US man's claim to be the great-grandson of legendary Sitting Bull using DNA extracted from the Native American leader's lock of hair. The confirmation was made possible using a new method to analyze family lineages using ancient DNA fragments developed by a team of scientists at the University of Cambridge and the Lundbeck's Foundation Geogenetics Center. DNA from hair was compared to DNA samples from Earth Nila Point and other members of the Native American tribe called Lakota Sioux. The resulting match confirms that Lapointe is the sitting bull's great-grandson and his closest living descendant. Sitting Bull is known to have led 1500 Lakota warriors at the Battle of the Little Bighorn in 1876, which symbolizes the resistance of Native Americans to the white man's government. Sitting Bull was assassinated in the year 1890. Meanwhile, a new study this week has revealed that Antarctica, currently a frigid desert, suffered raging wildfires 75 million years ago when dinosaurs still roamed the Earth. During the late Cretaceous period, which is between 100 million to 66 million years ago, Antarctica's James Ross Island was warm enough to be home to a forest of conifers, ferns and flowering plants, as well as dinosaurs. Much like warm climates trigger wildfires today, the ancient fires burned parts of these forests to the ground. The leftover charcoal remnants offered scientists an opportunity to delve into the South Pole's warm green past. This marks the first time that paleo fires have been documented on James Ross Island, a part of the Antarctic Peninsula that now sits below South America. The discovery adds evidence that spontaneous fires were common in Antarctica about 84 million to 72 million years ago. For the study, an international team of scientists analyzed fossils collected during a 2015-2016 expedition to the northeastern part of the James Ross Island. These fossils contain fragments of plants that look like charcoal residue, which had weathered away over the past tens of millions of years. Also this week, scientists from China have discovered the fossil remains of a giant sea scorpion measuring about a meter long that lived over 400 million years ago. 
The creature looks like an enlarged scorpion with its body decorated with needle-like spikes and a tail that resembles a serrated knife. Dubbed Teropterus zeus shanensis, the giant swimming beast is likely to have used its limbs to capture prey. The arachnid is the first of its kind to be discovered near the region of southern China and is the oldest known member of the fearsome Myxopteridae clan. Between 443 million years ago and 419 million years ago, this area was known as Onwana. The new fossil could further our understanding of these vicious sea dwellers' diversity and reach. Meanwhile, researchers have found a way to convert certain classes of plastics into fertilizers. The team at Tokyo Institute of Technology created a new environment-friendly process it uses plastics produced using biomass and recycles them back into fertilizers. The team focused on bio-based polycarbonate or PIC that has garnered much attention as an alternative to petroleum-based polycarbonates. PIC is produced using a non-toxic material derived from glucose called isosorbite or ISB. As a proof of concept that all PIC degradation products can be directly used as fertilizer, the team conducted plant growth experiments. They found that plants treated with PIC degradation products grew better than plants treated with just urea. That is all for this week. This is Mohana Basu, special correspondent at The Print. If you like our videos, you can now join The Print's YouTube membership to get special membership perks such as early access to our key reports as well as exclusive community content on the YouTube channel. You can do so through the link in the description box below.